What's up, YouTube? It's Ben, and in this video, I'm gonna show you five different ways that you can stop your emails from landing in spam. One of the best ways that you can get your emails to stop landing in spam is to join our Facebook group, Recruiter Empire, link in description. We talk a lot about email deliverability and high performance email in there. So you should definitely join the Facebook group. Again, link in description, you won't be disappointed. All right, so getting right into it, number one, I want you to make sure your email is 100% warmed up. Now, when I talk about warming up your email, I'm talking about making sure that your email goes through a service like Warm Up Inbox or Lemwarm or one of the other hundreds of them out there where it basically sends and receives thousands of emails over a period of perhaps 10 to 15 days or so where your email essentially gets a reputation. Over that period of time, your email receives and sends all these emails and it basically seems legit on the internet. It looks like, oh, this person's not a spammer. They're actually getting emails. They're actually responding to them. They're legitimate copy in the emails. It looks like this person is a warmed up, legit email and they can go ahead and start sending volume emails at that point. I can't stress this enough because so many people fail out at this point and it's best practice honestly to set up a warming service and just leave your email domain in there and continuously let it warm even while you start sending out email campaigns. All right, so number two as to how you can stop landing in the spam or promotions box is to know exactly who you're sending email to. All right, so there's layers to this cake, right? So number one, you have to know your targeting, right? I've done a lot of videos on LinkedIn targeting about understanding who you're emailing in the first place. Are you actually contacting the right people that you even want to get an email back from? You don't want to be contacting HR all day. That's not going to yield you results. You don't want to be contacting low level managers or workers. You want to be contacting decision makers. So that's number one. Number two of that, you want to validate all of the emails that you actually collect. Allow me to elaborate a little bit more on validation. So when you send these emails out, you're definitely going to deliver it to spam if you're sending out willy nilly without validating the actual email address. What is validation, right? Validation basically pings the email service itself and says, hey, this email isn't in use anymore or hey, this email is blocked it's it's going to definitely send you to spam so you already know that it's a bad email and it's one that you need to take off your list not put into your crm because you will go to spam if you send to that email i promise you just by validating your emails alone you will definitely ensure at least by 30 to 40 50 percent that you're not going to land in the spam box all right, so number three on how to not land in spam is to write better email copy. Okay, Ben, what does that mean? How do I write better email copy? Listen, email copy is everything. Everything that you put into the email body, into the subject line, everything that you're sending out needs to be on point. <laughs> And what I mean by on point is that it needs to be not salesy. You need to not use certain words that basically will get tracked down and make you look like a spammer. You need to not use words like selling or we're offering this or we're XYZ. You need to look things up. You need to do your own research, but make sure the email copy you're doing is on point because otherwise you're going straight to spam. Now, of course, I can't do a whole video or teach you an, an entire class on email copy because it's endless, but just don't use words like discount, don't use words like sale, don't use words like act right now, don't use various other things that you can find online very easily about how to not write bad email copy to the point where it's gonna go straight to promotions or spam because that's how email provider services will see it and they'll send it straight to spam or promotions. All right, so number four on how to not land your emails in the spam box is to monitor all of your spam complaints and your bounce rate. Listen, what doesn't get measured doesn't get managed. Therefore, you need to check your bounce rate, check your spam complaints on a daily basis. All of these metrics are gonna tell you everything. These are gonna tell you whether you're dropping everything into spam or whether your emails are actually delivering to someone's inbox. Also, check how many actual positive replies you're getting or general replies, even if it's an out of office or not interested, doesn't matter. If you get those back, it means you're actually going to the inbox, not spam. So check those 
metrics on a daily basis to make sure you're not landing in spam. If you do have a high bounce rate or a high complaint of spam, you need to fix it ASAP, right? So whoever made a complaint about spam on you, take them off your list immediately. Don't let it ride, just take them right off. Or if someone says, don't email me anymore, get them off your list instantly. Make sure that you nip this in the bud right away because it will come back to haunt you. If you email someone two, three times without checking these metrics daily and looking at this stuff, you will end up landing in spam. And the more you land in spam, your domain will get trashed completely and useless. All right, so the fifth and final tip here on how to not land emails in the spam box is to use a very strong email service provider. Look, I know there are hundreds of email service providers, otherwise known as ESPs out there, but what you need is a strong, recognized, reputable SMTP, otherwise known as a simple mail transfer protocol. Basically, a simple mail transfer protocol means an application that has email sending from sender to recipient. That's all that it is. However, a really good SMTP through an email service provider has a strong reputation on the internet and with all the other servers that it interacts with on the internet, showing that it's not a spammy SMTP, that it's a real legitimate SMTP that delivers legitimate email and that you're not going to go to the spam box. Now there are so many different email service providers and so many different SMTPs that come with them that all are not created equal. And you need to find a really, really strong one that allows you to basically overpower spam complaints and the occasional bounce rate that happens so that you can just ride right through that. And it'll allow it as long as you tamper it down and make sure you get rid of those spam complaints, get that bounce rate down and you won't deliver to spam. Now, along with having a strong SMTP and an email service provider, you need to configure certain records on your domain. I know this might go way above a bunch of people's heads, but there's your SPF record, your DMARC record, and your DKIM record. These are three DNS domain name server records that should be configured by someone. I have a certain person that myself and all my students in Recruiter Empire use. He's on Fiverr. I'll link in description to this person who can configure these on your domain so that your domain becomes stronger. Email just works much, much better and you make a lot more money when you just don't land in spam. So hopefully this video was valuable for you. If so, definitely join our Facebook group, Recruiter Empire, link in description, and also smash that like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more content and I will see you guys next time.